r slash ask reddit by redmond dts what's the stupidest thing you ever seen a religious person call satanic in my country a few years back this big church ran tv channel did an over the top news segment saying ugo cards were the devil's deck of cards and had christian families going nuts about it Oh my god my mom had a friend convince her that Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh were satanic when me and my brother were kids. Pokemon obviously because it promotes Darwinism and Yu-Gi-Oh because something about a pentagram? I wouldn't know. I never got into Yu-Gi-Oh. Wonder why. In 2015 there was a fire in a nightclub, which killed 64 people. And the church came on TV and said that those people who died deserved it, because they were there for a rock concert, therefore were satanist. So my mom's friend is a bit overweight and likes to go to church a lot. She enjoys wearing the color black because it's slimming. Her pastor told her that wearing black all the time was of the devil. What about priests? Do they count? Most protestants think catholic priests are of the devil. Devil eggs. I cringe every time a family calls them angel eggs. Pokemon. And the magic school bus. The magic school bus. What the f. Probably because of that bad episode. Nah. Because of magic in general. Some extremists just can't tell the difference between TV shows and reality. Dungeons and Dragons. I had a buddy growing up who got in a lot of trouble with drugs and the cops in the 1980s. A lot being a relative thing in the Southern California suburbs, of course. He came home one day to find his mostly non-religious mother had been talked into burning his Dungeons and Dragon stuff and heavy metal albums by a Bible thumping neighbor. Yes, your son has no positive role models, your discipline swings from non-existent to draconian on a whim, you have trouble holding down a job, and you're an alcoholic. But let's blame Dungeons and Dragons and Ozzy Osbourne for your kids issues. Edit. Minor clarifications and wordsmithing. The Welsh flag. One of the most badass. Going to a different church. Not like a different kind of church. For example Catholic Evangelic. I mean the same kind of building. Just two blocks away from their own. Long hair. They had a very convoluted explanation of why it was okay for Jesus but not 80s me, but I can't remember it. Hell, there's literally a supernatural champion of God that needs his long hair. Samson. Love to see how they'd skirt around that one. Oh. That's easy. They love to pretend the Old Testament doesn't count. Mostly. I had a co-worker who switched vets because one of the employees had a zombie sticker on their car. She didn't trust Satan worshippers with taking care of her dog. She's also the person who informed me gay marriage had been legalized. I came into work and heard her crying loudly, so I figured her dog must have died and went in her office to try to console her. I asked her what was wrong and she blurted out. They legalized gay marriage. God is going to send hurricanes and wildfires to cleanse our country. I said, oh, and walked out. The saddest thing is she probably thinks she's right with all the hurricanes and wildfires, considering she didn't believe in climate change. I have an aunt who believes gay marriage will be the end of the world. Every time something bad happens she blames it on gay marriage, not gay people, but gay marriage. She believes marriage should be between man and woman and it's a scared bond that shouldn't be sullied. She's been married and divorced six times, yet she still doesn't see the irony or hypocrisy. Jazz. For those asking why, lest we forget that jazz was invented by black people, and was therefore deemed immoral. They said the exact thing about rock and roll in the 50s. Doom. I realize this was at the height of video games paranoia but like. It's a game where you do nothing other than brutalize demons. Possibly the most righteously holy game ever made. So much so I'm surprised it doesn't have a temple OS port. Catholic man fights demons to save humanity. Obvious Satanism. <laughs> Women wearing pants. This is how I was raised. My mom would not let me wear pants. Dresses and skirts only. She caught me wear pants one time and whooped my butt for it. She also had a thing about underwear too. Wait she limited your underwear? Why? She was very controlling and very religious. 
My sister told her I was wearing a thong once. It was like the end of the world. At that point she would check my underwear like a toddler. This didn't stop till I moved out. It's a good thing you moved out. I mean that's not even religious at that point that's just cultish. Quoting the Bible. In a conversation with an evangelical e-religious Christian. He said that my ability to quote the Bible so well to make false flaws appear was a satanic gift. Not gonna lie. I was flattered a little. Smurfs. I'm not even gonna ask how. My sister's friend wasn't allowed to watch Smurfs because Gargamel was a wizard. Just as simple and as stupid as that. This was during satanic panic 80s. I grew up in the Gulf Coast of the US. When I was in elementary school in the mid 90s, my teacher had just got back from her holiday in the UK and brought a brand new book that was all the rage over there. It was of course Harry Potter and the Philosophers, or Sorcerers, Stone. Our teacher got probably halfway through before being forced to stop by the school and overbearing parents once the word got out for teaching witchcraft, calling the book satanic. Ridiculous. I will say that this nonsense with witchcraft and public schools finally stopped around when the first film came out. Heavy Metal. If you play the record backwards you can hear satanic verses. Don't laugh. Bop. Bop. Butter. One of my middle school teachers told us it was a sin to be bored because you were telling God you weren't happy with your life. I told my parents later that day and they were furious, just added to the list of reasons why they'd be pulling me out of private school soon after. Lord of the Rings. Like come the F on. It is literally written by a religious man. I also came here to share this. I mean not only was it written by a man of deep catholic faith, but also the man who was also partially responsible for C.S. Lewis becoming a Christian. Lewis didn't get a free pass either. Both men were considered to be teaching dangerous doctrines by mainstream churches of the time. Tampons. I once saw that they were referred to as Satan's cotton fingers. Seriously. When I was 6 I had a fever one night, and my mom told me Satan is attacking me. I've been speechless ever since. That medication diagnosed and treated ish schizophrenia could be demonic possession. Oh, and he man. Tough call between vaccines, LGBT plus rights, Finland. I think I saw someone do that on a Reddit post. I don't remember for sure. And Jews. Finland. I think I saw someone do that on a Reddit post. I don't remember for sure. Nonsense. Everyone knows Finland doesn't exist. Seasonings. Like. Salt and pepper. Yup. I suppose more specifically it would be using the seasonings to change the flavor of a food more than the seasoning itself. Their logic was that God made everything perfect and just as it should be so by seasoning meat to make it taste differently than God intended it to taste was rejecting God's gift and as satanic. So she only ate bland food? You may ask. Oh no, she still had seasonings. But she just said it was satanic hahaha <laughs> no 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 my friend. You see, she found the loophole. Just as it is okay to use chicken broth, noodles, and chicken in the same bowl, it was fine to use seasonings so long as it wasn't to change the foods themselves. So imagine a burger, instead of a seasoned patty you would have a bland puck of meat with salt and pepper on top of it or one of the other toppings. It wasn't seasoned meat, it's meat with toppings. As God intended when he elaborately killed himself for everyone to see. I'm sure his dying thoughts were. Linda. Don't use seasonings on meat. Use it. As. A. Topping. Washing machine. Apparently if you watch the swirling motion for too long. You would get hypnotized and the devil could enter your head. So be warned. Jeans. Had a friend who believed wearing jeans makes the angels cry. Happy holidays. My piercings and tattoos. I have only 3 piercings and 5 little tattoos, but apparently, that makes me a spawn of Satan. But. Greek mythology. 
This one loon I ran into while working as a tour guide in Athens. I'm trying to keep my group interested with stories between sites and this one tard starts moaning about the mythology as unchristian and I'm like. Ma. Of course it is. It predates Christianity. She lost it. Started to basically cry like how could I say that? How could I say something so evil? God created the world and came first and Christ came to die for our sins because these filthy pagans invited Satan with their unholiness. I told her, mom that's really offensive, I'm Greek and you're insulting my ancestors and culture. She started to scream at me that I was a satanist to the point where I had to call side security and she threatened to sue. She probably thinks you guys still believe in Greek gods. My aunt. Rainbows. Since the rainbow flag is a symbol of the gay movement, rainbows are sent by Satan. According to the Bible the rainbow was a symbol of God's covenant with Noah that he would never destroy the world by water again. Throw that back in your aunt's face. I love religious people who have never actually read a Bible. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening.